And we do have a lot more local coverage for you, but of course, parts of Florida and the Panhandle are decimated in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. We've got a live look for you right now from Panama City, Florida, where residents and officials are just now starting to get a look at the aftermath of this Category 4 storm. And as 10 News reporter Karen Kafa explains, Michael isn't done yet. This hurricane was an absolute monster. In the Florida panhandle, sun after the storm and sorting through the aftermath of the strongest storm to hit the continental U.S. in more than 25 years. Nothing. It, it, I never seen nothing like it. Hurricane Michael slammed into Mexico Beach, Florida Wednesday afternoon with 155 mile per hour winds. This morning offered a first look at the storm's power and its destruction. This was never in our imagination. This this year, it was such a such a tremendous thing that I never imagined this was what was going to happen to our home here. Along with Mexico Beach, Apalachicola also seeing some of the storm's worst. FEMA Administrator Brock Long said rescues are a priority today. Right now, the focus is truly on life safety. Uh, and making sure that uh, we are helping people who uh, may be trapped. Hundreds of thousands of customers in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and North and South Carolina are without power. Michael moving through the Carolinas, bringing tropical storm force winds and heavy rain to some areas that took the brunt of Florence just weeks ago. This storm will not go down without a fight. It is still a threat and should be taken seriously. President Trump issued a disaster declaration for Florida, and the administration has pledged its support during the response and long recovery. We are with you. We will continue to work with you until we rebuild uh, and recover bigger and better than ever before. Karen Kaifa, 10 News working for you.